why you shouldn't update your software on the shoot yesterday like it was a raining like so much so i'm just glad to be inside we got ari mini and a new black magic and we were shooting black magic raw so we had like black magic raw so i was like i can't deal with this because my system can't read it so i was like i have to update it tonight i don't want to update it in the middle of a shoot but that was the only way we could shoot on this camera at frame rate that we wanted it at when I updated it, all my old programs stopped working. I just have to convert it back after. I kind of update my system mid-shoot because I just feel like it will take too long and I've got lots of other things to do. Both cameras give me cards all the time. So I was like, allow me to take it home. Then I can update my system and then I'll bring it back all done. So that's what I did and they was cool about that. So that's nice. But I know the reason why I didn't update my system. I still got projects to finish on my old software until like I make the jump to editing stuff on new software. One reason why you shouldn't update your system because if you're mid project or if you're doing different other little projects and then you update it and then you're like, oh, you have to re-edit lots of things and it's better just to start fresh on a new system. We're filming like this thing for Converse today which is like how they make the shoes with recycled plastic and stuff. It's interesting. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm finally home and I got it back. The system finally back to Yosemite or however you say Yosemite um, operating system after countless YouTube videos, tutorials, like rebooting the machine, trying to do a factory reset. And it was like, it would just wouldn't do it. It just kept starting from Majavi or however you say, I can't even say the names. I tried to do factory reset, then I called Apple, spoke to them online, and they was like, do this and do that and do this. I was like, I did all those things and it still hasn't worked. I started it again, and then after that, I thought, oh, let me turn it off after I get to this stage, after I formatted the hard drive, it started working again. It allowed me to install the original operating system. So I was like, oh, thank God. Like, Cause I was just like, how am I gonna edit like the rest of my projects and stuff and that? And I was just like, oh. So that's why, like I said it before, I knew it was a mistake when I did it, but I had to do it for the job, Black Magic Raw. But next time I'll probably try and put two operating systems on or something, or I have to find a workaround for that because that's just like, I can't be going back and forth. Like if you're in the middle of projects, I wouldn't suggest upgrading or just make sure you have the backup of the old one. Another one. And here's the reason why you shouldn't update your software, like just when they say, oh yeah, the new software is fabulous because there's always bugs in the new software. And there's always things that you're like, ah, I need, kind of need the old software. When it comes to editing software, when it comes to operating system, I've just found like they bring out the new thing and it's always like a beta version, which is just like a test version. And they see what all the bugs are and then they smoothen it over. Then they send out the proper version. So you always should wait a few months or so. And even with new machines and new computers and stuff like that, you wait until people have tested it out a little bit and cameras, it goes for everything. And then they start working out the bugs and the kinks and then you get it. You kind of see what people are saying. Because if you just go, oh yeah, everything's new and shiny, like you don't, don't do that. Like I've done that before. And this time I only did it because I had to. And I knew in the back of my mind, I was doing it for a reason. This whole thing proves the reason missions. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.